this um, videos so now questions are show the validity of the following arguments so all these first five uh, we can show using the previous method but by using the rules of inference as i have told uh, the rules of inference reduces the number of steps uh, than the number of uh, rows in the truth table method when the number of variables in the expression are more so now here uh, for 6 1 show that the argument is invalid so when such question comes uh, it show the uh, argument is invalid you have to show with a counter example so that is here we consider that the premises are true and uh, we arrive at uh, the conclusion is false so if the argument is invalid then not of r is 0 which is false so not of r is a 0 which implies r is 1 so now given that p implies q implies r is true so all this we are considering this premises are true so if p is 0 then q implies r can be either 0 or 1 for q implies r to be 1 therefore if q implies r is equal to 0 then q is equal to 1 and uh, r equal to 0 what's the meaning here is so this whole thing is 0 which implies uh, q, when q is 1 r has to be 0 only in that case q implies r is false which contradicts that r is equal to 1 therefore q implies r is equal to 1 so since q implies r is equal to 1 and p implies q implies r is equal to 1 which implies p is equal to 1 so this is 1 and therefore for this whole thing to be 1 p has to be 1 since p and not of q is 1 therefore not of q will be equal to 1 which implies q is 0 so therefore when p is equal to 1 q is equal to 0 r is equal to z 1 the premises are all these are three uh, two premises are true but the conclusion is false this shows that the argument is invalid this is how we have to prove uh, for what values of p q r this premises are true and the conclusion is false if you prove that that solves your problem Next, uh, if especially if they mention proof by contradiction, you have to take the negation of the uh, implication. So that is, if they are asking prove the validity of the argument by the method of contradiction, you have to consider this uh, whole thing. And the negation of P also has another premise and arrive at the, at the contradiction. So, your aim is to consider all these uh, are true and you arrive at false, which is the proof by contradiction method. So, now using these premises, you have to prove that it will be getting at the end as a false. So, here the method is given. You can write it in the three uh, column answer. So, the what we can use here is we can use negation of p implies uh, if and only if q and uh, negation of p from this we can arrive q is uh, because negation of p and negation of p if and only if q is uh, both are true then we can say that q also has to be true so now q implies r is true and negation of r is true therefore we can say that uh, it is false so so by using this and uh, because q is uh, true so q implies r is to be true which implies r has to be true and r is true and not of r is also true which implies it is false so therefore we have read it false so which indicates our uh, validity of the argument by contradiction is correct next again another one show the validity of the argument if they are not specified what technique you are supposed to use then you can use any method so what is the speciality of this problem here is here given these premises 
and you can observe the conclusion is also an implication when such thing happens what we can do here is when the conclusion is true so you can consider the conclusions uh, uh, left hand side as another premise and you have to arrive at uh, the right hand side of the conclusion so this is a procedure you have to use when uh, your conclusion is an implication so now again like a normal uh, proof you can prove it uh, to arrive at p by considering q as another hypothesis so this again you can write it using three column table now how do we prove that an argument is invalid so now here the method is just find a counter example of assignments for it that's what here if you consider that you want to prove that it is invalid for a given uh, conclusion so you can consider that for the values of the assignment of uh, these variables the premises are true and the conclusion is false so you have to arrive at those situation so we know that here we have to consider that negation of yes implies negation of t is uh, false uh, so this is zero so which implies yes uh, this left hand side is true that is not of yes is true which implies yes is false and the right hand side is this is uh, one and this is zero so not of t is uh, zero which implies t is one so now by using this yes equal to zero and t equals to one you go back and check whether these all these premises are true so now by using s equal to 0 and t equals to 1 so since t is 1 so this uh, 1 then r also has to be 1 so now since r is known s is known t is known we have to find out what is the value of p and q so r is 1 which implies uh, this is 1 and s is 0 so this is uh, 0 so when this is 0 so the left hand side q also has to be 0 for the whole implication to be 0. So q will become 0. So now we have s yes value, t value, r value and q value. So now q value is 0. So for p or q to be true, p also has to be 1. So this is the way we have to get the proof by counter example that is disproof by counter example. Now we need to determine the truth values of the following. First one, if 3 plus 4 is 12, then 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. So now let us consider P as 3 plus 4 is 12, Q as 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. Here both P and Q are false. 3 plus 4 is not 12 and uh, 3 plus 2 is not 6. So both are false. So therefore P implies Q is true. Next is if 3 plus 3 is 6 so this is true then 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. So the left hand side, uh, side is uh, of the implication is true then the 3 plus 4 is this is false so therefore the p implies q is false. The next one if Thomas Jefferson was a third president of US then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So now P is Thomas Jefferson was the third president of US, Q is 2 plus 3 is 5. And since 2 plus 3 is uh, uh, equal to 5 is true, then Q is true. So when Q is true, P implies Q is independent of P is true. Now let us see other, some other examples. Determine all truth value assignments, if any, for the primitive statements P, Q, R, S, T, which makes the compound statement false. So now we know that the compound statement is an implication. So the implication is false only when the premises is true and the conclusion is false. So which indicates that P implies Q is to be false when P is equal to 1, Q equal to 0. Therefore, S or T is false, which implies S is 0 as well as T is 0. So we got values of yes and t. Now the left hand side has to be true. So p and q and r is equal to 1 when p and q is 1 and r is also equal to 1. So which implies p is equal to 1, q is equal to 
1. So therefore, P equals to 1, Q equals to 1, R equal to 1 and S equal to 0, T equal to 0 makes this statement false. So likewise, for the remaining uh, expressions or compound statements, you have to find the values of the variables which makes the compound statement false by considering the conclusion as false and the hypothesis as true. This we will see in the next class. Thank you.